Hey everyone, it's Michael here and I want to demonstrate in this short little video how you can create your own template, let's call it an image, <laughs> at a certain diameter, size diameter, which I'm showing on the screen right now, and then add that image to LinkedIn as a photo and then add a link to that photo. Now this is particularly applicable for when you're doing LinkedIn audio, but it could be literally for anything. LinkedIn already have something called LinkedIn templates, which you can only do on mobile right now. Um, and even adding links to templates or images can only be done on mobile right now. So as you can see, I created this image and at a certain size diameter and then added it to a photo, create, you know, add a photo to LinkedIn basically. So here it is. And at the bottom, you can see a number of icons. And I, I will explain every single one of them. But the one that I would like to highlight, particularly right now, is the pencil on the far left. Because as you can see, just at the top of this image, there are some quote marks that are not being displayed. So not the full image is being displayed for whatever reason. This has happened to me before. So when you tap the pencil on your mobile, there you go. The whole image is now displayed. And that's all you need to do. You can do all sorts of other things in here, cropping it and changing the color and everything else. And I don't want to do any of that because my image is perfect. All I want to do is click done. So that's step number one. And I've created this image in order to get people to come to my social audio community chats every week. And I want to share a link so it makes it easy. They can just click on the link either on mobile or desktop. It doesn't really matter. And I've left space at the bottom right for this kind of URL for this link. And at the bottom, it's the third icon. You can see the two little links. So you tap that and you're now given a place where you can add a link, right? So normally what I do, because uh, the LinkedIn audio event link is really, really long. So what I do is go to Bitly and I reduce it. I've got my own domain that I've connected to Bitly and my own domain is now all my audio events that I do are called social audio community chat. So I all, I've started to shorten it because it's too long a word anyway, dash. And let's say it's the one I'm going to do for October the 21st, right? And you put a link text in here and you just say join here. I mean, the text I'm saying join here, but the text could literally be anything. Now, this event does not exist as yet. Right. So I have not created this event yet. So October the 21st isn't really live yet, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So I won't make this live, but I just want to show you. Then at the top right, you can see, I mean, why they couldn't fit this word in on the screen. I have no idea. It's only a short word and it says done, but it comes out as D dot dot. There's three dots. E <laughs> because it's D O N E. I mean, done is only four letters, right? <laughs> D O N E. Yeah, it's four letters. My God. So now I've got that link floating right in the middle. Join here. And that's obviously not the place I want it. I want a bottom right. So you just, you won't be able to see this, but you just take your finger, index finger, and drag it down and place it at the bottom. As you can see, while I'm holding this link button, you can see a little bin has appeared. And if I'm not happy with that link, I can just put it in the bin, but I'm not going to do that. So there's a few other things on here as well um, that you could technically put on any image or template. And that's uh, next to the link button. I'll go to the right first. You've got a little sticker so you can add all sorts of stickers. There's a LinkedIn stickers. They're not generally that helpful though. 
before the two links, you've got a little T in a square, so where you can add text. But the way I've used that, I've not added text. You can add additional text in here, of course, because the fonts are never the right ones. What I've done, you can hopefully see classic minimal headline. What I do is I click headline, so there's no box around it. You can do minimal, and it's got kind of a little shading, I think. But I go headline, and then I go to my emojis, and I'll I can stick an emoji. And look what it does. It does this nice big emoji. Tap done. That's where we can see the word, and you can drag it in the top or somewhere. Nice big emoji if you want to. On this particular case, and I don't, so I'm going to put it in the bin, and it's gone. And then the last little thing looks like a little person icon uh, where you can tag somebody, right? Oh, it's disappeared. Oh, let me tag. You can tag anywhere. I'm going to tag Laurie Showstrom. And yeah, you can tag somebody, right? That's, so that's also a really cool thing to do. I'm not going to on this occasion, so I'm going to put that in the bin. So now I have got, I'm not going to tag anybody. Okay, so it's still wanting me to tag. <laughs> All right, I've not tagged anybody on my images before, so it's just typical. So if I just cancel that, I'll go back a step. Um, and so we did the tagging one, which is the little person icon, and then there's the alt. So that's the description. So for people that are, you know, visually impaired um, or have certain disabilities, this is helpful for them to know. I'm not going to do that right now. And then I've got my link in. That's all I wanted. You know, it's really, really quick. For me, it's just two icons at the bottom. It's the pencil and the two links. That's all I'm concerned about for this particular image. I might use other things on other images or templates, not for this one. You click next, there you are. Now the image has come out perfectly, the right size. It fits in where I want it to fit in. And I can now type in some text, decide where I want it to go. Um, I normally send stuff to Twitter at the same time. And people will see this now in your feed with the join here. That's a long winded way of explaining how to put an image up, your own image that you've created, add a link button to it. And what you can do, what is the coolest thing you can do with this? is so once you have created this image and you've you've kind of added in some little bits of text on it to you know, perhaps say the time and the day, which are really important in different time zones sometimes as well. That's what I do. I'm going to delete this draft. I'm just going to go to my to a previous post that I did. So I'll go to my um, activity, show all activity, go to my posts. I've got to scroll down a little bit where I can find. Yeah. So here is an Im the the previous one I did four days ago, and I can now and I've I've just put the day, the date, the time. Right, that's all I've done. And you've got the join here button. And if I were to tap that, you can see the link comes up for October the 14th. I click that now and it goes. You can see a little blip with LinkedIn that's not 100%. Uh, you can then go straight to the event. Yeah, there's something goes, something went wrong. This often happens now. Um, but what you can do once you've created that image with your link on, you can then send it. So I could send it to Laurie and Laurie can can. Oh, she's working on one as well right now. Uh, Laurie can just, you know, let me have a look at that. Yeah, I can now write a message. And what happens is that button stays clickable inside the message. And that's a really, really cool way of doing it. All right. That is the end of this particular video. Thanks for watching.